Throughout the early 20s, we began to work with Eaton as a supplier to Eaton on a program. And we learned early on that there were lots of synergies between our two companies, that it was almost you know, a perfect match because Eaton had all of these global assets, all of these technical resources that they could bring to bear in our organization. They had all of this experience already with high power and high current and even high power electronics. 80% of the World Power Solutions products that we make today and our next gen technology directly integrates into the Eaton modules and the Eaton system. So when you think about bus bars, you think about eyelets, you think about uh, terminals and wire harnesses that make these large modules with all the electronics and all the software function that Eaton makes, diverters, inverters, converters, we make the components that make those happen. Royal has something that nobody else has. Um, it allows us to reinvent the market. Uh, it allows us to go, go against some of these big incumbents big terminal and connector incumbents with a design that's completely different from what they have today, uh, sets us apart and performs much better. And when we combine that with the Eaton global manufacturing, global footprint and global customers that Eaton has today, uh, I feel that in two years Eaton and Royal combined can have a dramatic impact on the market. So what this allows us to do is really capture more value on our e-mobility Products. It allows us to insource our own components right, at, at a lower cost. At the same time, it allows us to leverage Royal's capabilities upfront. So in a lot of cases, when you're designing a component, you, know, you need that expertise as you're designing the power distribution box or as you're designing the inverter. And we can leverage Royal's capability and design smaller modules, um, higher performing devices and um, provide you know, solutions to our customers that meet different requirements or, or higher performing requirements.